guys hey guys hey guys i know it's been a long time yeah i know i know i know but guys i've been so busy lately so so busy lately like i recently started something and it has kept me so busy so very busy so guys this video is not a type of video i have done on this channel but see we are new on this youtube street so we are trying our hands on so many things so many and these days because of i'm usually very busy tutorials i have not been able to film any tutorials so i feel a sit down video is going to be the thing now that is not to say I will not be making tutorials, but sit down video for now. I just feel you sit down, you talk, and it's easier than for you to like start making tutorial videos. So, what are we going to be gisting about, Big Brother Niger? <laughs> so, we are going to be gisting about Big Brother, guys. Yesterday was a hit, hit. I'm so sorry, I didn't bring the two first episode, but from today, hence. First, we are going to be talking about it on a daily. How cool is that? Very cool. <laughs> so today, hmm, guys, I actually jotted a whole lot. Like, <laughs> I jotted a whole lot. Three pages. We are going to be summarizing it. So, it's, the show started um, on the 17th. In case you don't know, it's usually air uh, on African Magic um family go tv that's channel two but for dstv i don't know so it's yesterday's own started off with but by the way guys i never knew prince was like this hot guy in the house like i never really knew <laughs> it's not a small something no it's not a small something so yesterday Ebuka started by agua tony uh, how she got involved in all this kind all this triangle or square you guys know now how she got on it and she was like she liked prince or rather she was using prince to catch cruise then dora faced up her hands and said if prince had chose you instead of tolani would you still say that you didn't like him would you or Tony do? I'm asking you, would you? <laughs> because I didn't say it like that. So, after Ibuka asked her, she said that she never had interest, that Prince was just her friend and that they just talked, they just connected and they talked, that she never had that interest, really. <laughs> that she never really had that interest on Prince. That was what our auntie Watoni said. That she didn't have the prince. Um, she didn't have that. Um, what is it called? She didn't have interest on prince. But before the clip, before the show started, there was a clip that was played when Watoni was telling prince to pick, pick among she, Nagi, and T Badge to pick among them. And he said, "Why am I making choices when you're not in the picture?" But she, and she said, no, 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 that, that, and that, and that, that she had told Prince to apply pressure, that she had told Prince to apply pressure with t that let her, let him apply more pressure on talking to t to be his friend or girl, or for them to be in a relationship. She kind of asked, asked, um, Tricky T and Dorothy, if he actually likes Prince or she was just trying to catch Chris. And Tricky T and Dorothy, they reply, they say she actually liked the said guy. That they didn't think he was trying to, they didn't think she was catching Chris, that she liked him. And even Tricky T told Ebuka that Watoni personally told him that he liked the guy, right? Yeah, so auntie, we don't understand what you were saying, but that's a story for another day. So moving on, guys. Hmm. Basbos now entered when 
Ebuka asked Tibaj how she got into the whole mixture. Into those Prince Charming. It's really a Prince Charming, you know, how he got, how she got into and she was like, she, she was on her own, on her own. And then Prince came up to her and said that it is you I choose. I choose you. It is you I choose amongst all those other ladies. It is you I choose. And that she remembered asking him over and over, are you using me to catch Chris or did you really like me? Because that's not what they said. So she was just like, she asked him severally and the uncle admitted that it is you I like. So why is the relationship now not moving? I don't know, but we move. So Ebuka now further asked her what happened. She also said that she regretted ever being in the triangle because that that situation she relationship they had in the house caused her nothing but embarrassment by Prince's family on social media that even Prince and Tolani is not supposed to be in the same sentence. That is what Nancy said. And that people were, that people actually think that she's so amazed that people think that she was the one throwing herself on Prince. Right? But me, I don't know the eyes I use in watching this big weather, but to me, oh, I used to say it several times then when we even when the show was still on. I said, and this guy is she's so throwing herself at this guy. That's what me I saw. But Auntie said, she even stood up. I'm a whole speck, a whole baby girl that I have men at my palm. I don't struggle to get a man's attention. Rather, rather it's the other way around, right? That she's a full baby girl. And Nobody is even doubting that part because when they came out of the house, they all were brushed. Like it's not the people we saw. Even Prince, all of them from A to Z, they were not the same people we saw entering the house. They came out and they are looking delicious right now. So we agree that facts. Mm -hmm. Men are hitting on you nicely, no problem. But after she had said that, Ibuka Nan asked Prince. Started Ebuka asked Prince what was the problem and why did the relationship not work. He said that he had put his efforts that like he really wanted the relationship to work. That he even told Tolani that this relationship you see it's gonna work. It's gonna it's gonna work, right? That is what she that was what Ebuka that was what Prince told Ebuka that the relationship he tried. But the problem with T Badge is that T Badge wants Prince to give her all his attention. And he like he said he wants to talk about sports, other things that T Badge was not interested in, obviously, and that he will not want to come and stay with her. That they were not even having any fun. I will just come and sit on sit with you on the couch and nothing to like nothing fun was going on. That he wouldn't want to do that. So that there are so many things that Tolani likes PDA in case you don't know. Public display of affection, like when I go to work for it, you know who you know this I let everybody know that he's my man and and that prince said he was not into that. That he was not and he said what annoys him most is that <laughs> you I was trying to make a relationship work and you're now flirting with your said friends um that's V. Your said best friends man that he didn't even he cannot put it together. Then Antina started to say you are not a man. You were not man enough. That is why I wanted I used new to make you jealous. That's how castle and ambos. I used new to make you jealous. And Neo really admitted that he he said he spoke with Erica that Tolani that Tolani is actually fine. That very night. A night or an evening, I don't know. But once that once he said she's very fine. And then he asked Tolani, do you like PDA? Randomly. Then Talani was like, mm, I like this guy and he likes me too, I think. Then you was like, I know to like you that much, baby. Say I won't date you. You understand? Make you no go the 
put that for your head, say I like it or date you. I'm telling him, I say, I'm telling him, I was like, you told Erica you liked me, blah, 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 blah. You see, I know to like you that well, oh. We be say, then then I started mm, having their own, you're not my class, I'm in a relationship. Talani said she's in a relationship, a very healthy relationship that you have never traveled out of the country, that he is not her type, right? So then, if gonna ask V what really happened, you and Tolani were, we are very close in the house, and she said that immediately Tolani left, that she admitted she said a lot of things, that it was out of anger, and me, I was wondering if it is me, man, I could do the same now, you understand, people react to anger differently, like, you cannot come and tell me, you, you you didn't even tell me different thing that you tell me that I want to use <clears throat> I want to use this your guy to make this other guy jealous. I will be girls now, although some no go girl, but at least but you didn't even tell me you're just flexing around my man and you're telling me shit. No. Since be coming down, I don't understand. Can't can calm down. So I didn't even see what V did that was bad. Although what she, she already admitted that she said a whole lot of things. And me, if I if I do that, I will definitely come and beg you. If I said something on social media, Twitter, and Tolani was so angry yesterday. Hey, she threw a pillow at her. She threw a pillow at V, and then V was like, come. Saying, even though you come and beat me, even though you clean off my lashes or something like this, I will still be here looking at you. <laughs> I just didn't want it to go up on that night. <laughs> I hope they didn't fight. But they are not going to fight because the men are there to control them now. But Tolani was really angry at V and she was like, I'm going to beat you. I will tell you I'm not your age mate. And this, this and that and that. And, and V now went and said, that Tolani is around scared. <laughs> and Tolani started shouting like how am I uh, started shouting you know in the midst of everybody midst of emotion, everybody everybody had something to say everybody was moping 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 when she said so she said you are a run scale <laughs> is she really a run scale guys if you know please tell me in the comment section is she a run scale who knows? She's not. She says she's in a healthy relationship, so I don't know. But V was really angry as well. Tolani was angry as well. So the whole thing was just going back and forth, back and forth. At the point, I was like, Ebuka, can you hold Tolani? Can you even at least tell her to keep quiet? Let V talk. Because she was just interfering, was just not allowing her to talk and the rest. So I was just like, mm. Like, can this episode be over already? Then, Ebuka now asked Prince if he, he feels he had a hand in all this thing going on. Like, everybody in, sorry, everybody in the couch, if he has a hand in all this going on. And that's Negi, Watoni, V, Negi, Watoni, Tolani, and Dorothy. And he said that he takes... Did he say? And he was like, he had a hand and it's like he feels, he feels when somebody's not like, he say he feels because everybody on your on your truth, he say he feels it like he feel, but that Watoni's own is insignificant and Watoni stood up and he was like, you can't even at, at fault my dress, I have a six year old son, blah 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 blah. That she had a sister also that Prince cannot even afford her dress. That she's a baby girl. She dresses up nicely. She does this and that. And I was like, mm, this episode. Oh, bono, fairly, fairly. Oh, bono, fairly, fairly. And that was how it was concluded. That was how the whole show was concluded, guys. Tell me what you think about this, my Big Brother review. Tell me what you think about it do you want me to do it often for people that don't watch please ignore my child is here making a whole lot of noise yes please ignore the noise so guys this brings us to the end of this 
particular episode i will be dropping another one tomorrow please kindly say stay Please kindly stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. The next episode, uh, the next episode is going to be hotter. Bye guys.